like you said, some of the other films that have come out even much more, more recently. Oh man, that's a good question. Um, you know, I guess, so for me, of course, I'm going to go back to scripture and try to run it through the grid of, of scripture. And what, is, what does God say? Um, you know, God is concerned with uh-huh. uh, human beings because it is only human beings that are made in his image, uh, according to, a to, a Genesis. And therefore yeah. we are in that sense, like God, we are not God. And there are many attributes of God that we do not have, but, um, but that's the point is we're, we're different and we're separate and we're made in his image. So can something be, be made that's artificial and be in God's image? No, the Bible doesn't teach us anything about that. Where will this technology actually um, go? Well, again, personally, I, I don't see yet that that melding of of um, artificial with actual uh, intelligence. Mm. So I just watched that movie. This was a <laughs> fun. Oh, you might remember it, Devin. My son had me watch it. It's based on a an anime. Oh, who was in it though? It was it was not too long ago. It was a good movie. It was, but it was that deal where where um you could have a, a person. And it was their brain and their, I guess, soul, you could say, but their body could basically be artificial, you know? And, uh, and man, it was mm. fun. I mean, it was a, it was a good movie kind of thing. And you go, man, how much can that really, how much can that be? I mean, I think back to like, uh, you know, in the, in the seventies, I used to watch the $6 million man. I love this, you know? And so here's this guy, it's, you know, a, a person, but he's got these bionics, you know, and, and whatnot. Brother, you're going to yeah. have other guests that are going to be able to talk much more eloquently <laughs> about this. Thing. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> well, no, you're you're actually you're doing work, great, you know? Jay. You're doing great. You know, I mean, we create these science fiction movies that are sure seem <laughs> real at times. <laughs> well, well, let me ask you this question, Jay. Um, would you have a robot kind of like yourself from the Disney movie, not quite human, in your home? Uh, man, that's a good question. <laughs> if if that was the option, if you can go to the supermarket today and get a uh, AI robot to serve you around your home, would you do that? That is a that is a strange thought, and I I have never. <laughs> I watched. Uh, well, you see these you see these things. Um, um, there was a TV series called Eureka. And it had some elements of that where the guy had the house that did everything, you know, and it was like, cool. And you, you know, it's yeah. the artificial intelligence is built into the house, but it's not an actual robot. And you go, that's kind of spooky enough. Uh-huh. You know, I don't know if I want to talk into my house and have yeah. my house talk to me, you know? I think, I think Disney even made a movie um, kind of like that. I think it was called Smart oh, House or something yeah. like that. Uh, well, of course, you've got a, yeah. Like, here, yeah. And then that is spooky. Right now, Devin. We have Alexa in our house. So there you go. So we talked to Alexa. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess the robot Alexis, Google. Alexa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, really, if you look into the news nowadays, it, we're a lot closer than what people think. Um, Bill Gates is apparently working on robots right now um, for our home. Uh, and um, what's his name? Elon Musk. He's working on a Neuralink brain technology where you can implant a chip into your brain and actually download information straight to your brain or listen to music straight to your brain or whatever. You know, to me, that's getting a little scary. Uh, So I just wanted to know your thoughts on that because Not Quite Human was a very good movie and it kind of explored that theme. But like you said, in a uh, more friendly, happy Disney S type way. With technology that we do have to think about is is that the technology is as we all know it's flying at breakneck speed and oftentimes the moral aspects of it don't come along with it until after the fact and then suddenly we're going well wait a minute what's the moral implications here right Mm -hmm. i mean hey you know you go back to the atomic bomb right you know the bomb goes off and then we're like whoa wait a minute yeah the right thing to do you know what but but you right know, absolutely technology and absolutely the technology is God given. I mean, God gave us these brains, right? He created us a certain way to come along with it 
until after the fact. And then suddenly we're going, well, wait a minute. What's the moral implications here, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, you know, you go back to the atomic bomb, right? You know, the bomb goes off and then we're like, whoa, wait a minute. Is yeah. that the right thing to do, you know? What? But, but you right. know, Absolutely. technology. And Absolutely. The technology is God-given. I mean, God gave us these brains, right? He created us a certain way to come along with it until after the fact. And then suddenly we're going, well, wait a minute. What's the moral implications here, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, you know, you go back to the atomic bomb, right? You know, the bomb goes off and then we're like, whoa, wait a minute. Is yeah. that the right thing to do, you know? Helping people, you know, with stem cells that could, that could, um, that could prolong their life and help them to live longer, better lives or to be healed of some kind of horrific disease. Well, absolutely. But I don't want it at the cost of taking it from, <laughs> from um, babies that haven't been born yet that have been aborted, you know, and that's, that's my own personal stance. You know? And so. Whew. Right. Or, or even another conspiracy theory, you're, you're okay. taking it down a rabbit <laughs> hole, Jay. So I'm going there. Um, but even, you know, it's a big conspiracy too about, celebrities possibly being killed and then the clone taking their place. Uh, Jay, are you a clone? You know, would you know it if you were? <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. You definitely would not know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope you're not. Let's hope you're not. <laughs> but yeah, there's some, there's some freakish stuff that you hear about out, out there. And, you know, uh, going back to the original the question you had for me, I'm happy to say that I, I, I fortunately was not exposed to maybe some of the darker sides of, of, of things, you know, but uh, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, there's some, there's some questions out there, huh? <laughs> well, you know, in the technology thing you kind of touched on, which I think is amazing. Um, and I probably should have did this, but I didn't, um, is you didn't allow your kids to have cell phones until they were in high school. Um, and I think that's that empowers your kids to oh, not depend go. on technology. Um, yeah, you know, so you you kind of touched on it. So, I'm, you know, but anyways, I don't want to keep you, Jay, for too much longer. Uh, but I do have one more question um, and then one more okay. favor to ask of you. Um, so my last question is this. Many believers feel very strongly that we are living in the final days. Um, what is your take on this? And what should we as followers of Christ be doing in these crazy times? That oh, man. Living? Yeah, good question. Uh, and I have had that come up from a number of my own congregants. Um, you know, wow, we're living in revelation times or, or uh, pastor, you think the end is uh, coming? And, and, um, and here's, here's a, uh, Here's my take on it. I believe this. I believe that the Lord Jesus will will one day return. And and I do believe that scripture teaches he could return at any moment. So he could return right now or right now or right now. That that thing. And and yeah. are, are we living in some crazy times? Absolutely. Especially as far as the United States go. You know, there's been crazy times throughout uh -huh. the world. And I would say there's been crazy times. Let's even go back to the life of Christ and the time of Christ. The, the, I don't see today uh, what's going on today to be really any worse than in any other generation or time in history. I mean, even after Christ, things got really gnarly. I mean, they were bad when he was around with the with the Romans and Roman oppression. And yeah. then you have people like Nero that were just off their rockers just wackos you know who you know he burns rum and blames yeah. on the christians there's a conspiracy theory for you you know of course uh he uh he killed all kinds of christians he used to use them it's reported as torches at his parties to light the parties um and then and then since then there's how many horrible wars have we had? World War One, World War Two, even in more recent days. But I just don't see. Oh, and plagues and uh, horrible plagues. We think we got it tough with the COVID nineteen, and I'm not saying it's good, but man, there have been some even worse times in the in the realm of human history. So I guess I look at it and I think. You know, yeah, I think the heat's getting turned up a bit in the United States with some of the things that that are that we're seeing and happening and going on. And you go, man, it's going to hell in a handbasket, you know, or uh, whatever. 
but um, but I ask myself, are things really yeah. any worse than they ever have been at different times? And then there's been some times and throughout history too, mm-hmm. where things kind of get better for a while and seem like oh they're not so bad, but then you know it goes and hits that cycle again. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> all that to say, I'm going to be tremendously excited when Jesus does return and sets up His kingdom, which is what I personally believe you know is going to happen. But um, but in, until Amen. then, I want to be about the gospel and 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 keep that as the focus. And even through crazy topsy turvy times, I do believe in the sovereignty of God and that that He is ultimately uh, ultimately has a plan in place that will not be thwarted. So yeah. Amen. 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 Which leads me to my last favor. I'm right. kind of putting you on the spot here. Um, but Jay, Jay, can we end oh, this sure. with a prayer? Sure. All right. Let me, let me pray. Anyone out there that would like to pray with us, please just feel free to pray. Uh, Father God, I, I thank you. I thank you for my friend, Devin. And I thank you, Lord, for the just the time that we've been blessed with uh, this afternoon to uh, to talk about all oh, so many things and and Lord I, I do thank you for the arts and I thank you for entertainment and, and and I do believe that these things are even of you from you it's part of making us in in your image Lord and that we can have fun and we can enjoy things and we can be refreshed by things or we can we can have a piece of art or a piece of theater or a piece of film and go oh wow man that that touched me it moved me uh, um, it, it meant something to me. It taught me something. It grew me. It, it matured me. Whatever the case for each individual. So we thank you, Lord, for the arts and and especially what we've been talking about regarding filmmaking. And and Lord, yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that come up in life and a lot of theories or or the conspiracy aspects, Lord. And I pray for all of us and and for for Devin's listeners as well that those that might be Christians would seek to run everything through the grid of scripture through your word the bible and uh and lord for those that uh, are out there listening that are not um Christians uh, I would certainly pray that um that lord you would touch their heart their souls and uh and lord show them that um Jesus Christ came to die for sinners and uh, uh, sinners of which we all are, um, nobody is uh, excluded there. And and yet, um, because he so, uh, you so loved the world, you gave your one and only Son to uh, go to the cross uh, in our place. And and we thank you for that. And I certainly would pray that other people would uh, understand that truth and believe in that truth. And and Lord, be forgiven of their sin and have that great hope and promise of eternal life. And so, again, we thank you for the time you've allowed us all to spend together on this podcast. And uh, to your name be the glory. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jay. Thank you so much for your time. It's been such a great honor to have you on the show. And, Jay, I just can't say enough how much I truly appreciate it, how much of an amazing person you are. And getting to meet you has been an amazing experience in my life as well. And I hope that my listeners take all this information that you provided and and get exactly what they're looking for in it. So thank you so much. Man, it's Devin, been an honor. You. Jay. Thank I'm you. So appreciated being able to get to know you too, brother. And and uh, look forward to just keeping our friendship. Thank you for watching Up TV. If you like this video and would love to see more, check out these great videos here. And don't forget to subscribe to Up TV and Up TV Two for even more great videos. <laughs>